It's time to go racing. Gentlemen, start your engines. Hard left hand turn to the infield here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Getting ready to go green for the second time of the year for the Budweiser Modifieds this season. Flag of the year, it's time to hit and get it for the Budweiser Modifieds at Virginia Motor Speedway. Chase Butler not wasting any time to the outside of the 99 of Cole Hilton. Cole Hilton is there in the third spot as the field races their way through turn number four. Scott Heath leads lap number one. The battle is on between Michael Pappas, Joey Pullboy, and Jeff Sollinger. Joey Pullboy to the outside of Pappas there, coming off of turn two down the back streetway side by side. That is a battle for fifth. Pullboy will move into fifth. Now Sollinger tries to follow suit as they work their way off of turn four. Jeff Sollinger trying to get past the two of Michael Pappas. Again, that is for the sixth position. Back behind him is Samuel Lamborghini. Tim Schulte in the 10S in the 21C of Michael Conley and Curtis Mason are all battling for position behind him. Tim Schulte looking to the inside of Lamborghini for a brief second. We go back to the lead. Scott Heath in that black, white, and red number 35 machine showing the way on a absolutely beautiful evening here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Joey Pulvoy defending off Michael Pappas very well right now for that fifth spot. Here comes Michael Pappas with a big run down the back straightaway. Off into two they go. Michael Pappas working the inside. Dust kicks up in front of them off the 11 of Butler. Coming out of turn four. They're side by side for position for a moment as they get back to single file working their way through one. Pulvoy on the outside as Pappas on the bottom. They're side by side down the back straightaway. Going off into turn three, Pappas is there. Pull boy on the outside. Wheel to wheel through turn at number four. As they cross our start finish line, it's Pull Boy. Will complete the pass as Pull Boy will advance. But Pappas is putting up a fight on the bottom as they work their way through turn two. Watching the right back, back half of the field there through turn one and two there, a Lamborghini Schulte. In the field, there's the 99 of Cole Hilton working to the inside of the 1ST of Brett Hamilton. That is a battle for second. Going down the back straightaway, working their way into turn number three. And we got caution flag waves for the first time of the evening. We got one stopped on the bottom of turn four around the opposite direction to bring out our first caution flag of the evening. With Curtis Mason in the number 21J modified car. Now there are four divisions. I don't know how familiar you guys are with uh, with circle track racing, but there are four divisions. You got your late model, you got your modified, you got your sportsman, and then you've got your modified stock or what do they call it? Modified stock? Modified. Oh, we're no, modified. this is modified. What's the stock class? Oh, that's limited stock. Limited stock. Okay, my brain is like a sieve. But anyway, I'm here down here with the man they call the fireman. Now, who was it that started calling you the fireman? Uh, Wesley, who's the announcer for uh, Modified Mafia Tour. Uh -huh. uh, one day we went to uh, Dixieland, and uh, I'd worked a 72-hour shift, and all of a sudden he starts calling me the fireman. That, this guy really is a fireman, so we appreciate your service, because we all might need a fireman one day. And I want to ask you about riding these modifiers. These are the fastest cars out here. What does it feel when you come out of three and you nail it down the back stretch? Uh, it's a handful. Well, it can be a handful. If, uh, if you're not expecting it, you're going to uh, hang on for a wild ride and have a good time down the straightaway. Now, because these motors here, the modified motors are way more built. What kind of compression are you run in this motor? 
Uh, honestly, I'm not sure of the compression on it. I want to think it's a 13 to 1. 13 or 12 to 1. To 1. Folks, that's pretty like high. That, so. And you've got, like, you, there are basically no motor rules, really, or what? Not for us. It's a cast iron block. You can run aluminum heads, uh, 750 carburetor. Uh, other than that's old motor. How many horsepower do you think you're putting out? Uh, a little over 700. A little over 700 horsepower. <laughs> and really, the crazy thing is about the modified cars is they restrict, you've got tiny tires compared to the late models. Right. We have small tires. Um, you get that wide tire patch in the late model, you know, you get good hookup. These, you blow the tires off the car real quick. Yeah. Uh, if you don't finesse the throttle, you're going to smoke the tires. What would this car be like, do you think, if it was running the same tires as a late model? Uh, it'd be out running late models with no problem. Yeah, that's the truth. So, folks, you know, you got open wheel, you got your closed wheel. A lot of people like NASCAR, but personally, this is my favorite division. Modified racing at Virginia Motor Speedway. Green flag back in the air, and we're back to racing in the modifieds as they all come across the start and finish line in front of the grandstands off into turn one. Scott Heath is leading the way through turn two. Brett Hamilton is there in second. Cole Hilton is third. Chase Butler fourth. Cole Boy fifth. That is the top five there on your screen. Here comes Michael Patton is working the outside, coming out of turn at number four as he works the outside of Cole Boy. That is a battle for fifth as they work their way off into one. Jeff Sauger back there behind them watching the battle unfold in front of him. Tim Schulte is behind him. So Pulvoy and Pappas are side by side for the fifth spot. The top three work up to the top of the racetrack going through turn number four. That seems to be where all of the momentum is at the moment. As everybody going through the middle of one and two down the back straightaway. Chasing after your leader, Scott Heath. We got a battle now, but shaping up for the second spot. Cole Hilton and Brett Hamilton battling side by, or doing it out there for the second spot. Chase Butler there in the third. And Michael Papp is sitting back in the fourth spot. Everybody at the moment is single file all the way through the field. Everybody getting through turn one and two cleanly. Chase Butler on the back straightaway being chased by Michael Pappas into turn three. Oh, we got one around on our screen in turn four. Or in turn one and two, excuse me, in turn one and two. We got one car around in the middle of one and two to bring out our second Who's Your Driver caution period flag of the evening. That would be the number 21J of Curtis Mason. We're back in the restart zone. Green flag in the air. We're back to racing at Virginia Motor Speedway. And Cole Hilton is not wasting any time going after Brett Hamilton. And neither is Chase Butler. They're side by side off a two for third as they go down the back stretch into three. And Butler right down the middle between Hilton and Hamilton. Coming out of turn four. Scott Heath is now opened it up by about five car lengths over him and Hamilton. Chase Butler showing the way. It's currently sitting in the third spot. Chasing after Brett Hamilton. And Cole Hilton behind him working the inside. As they're going to be side by side across the stripe. Almost touch. Coming out of four and going into one. Butler on the outside and Hilton on the bottom. It'll be Butler who will take the pass. From Hilton, now Hilton challenges back to the inside as they race side by side off of four. And it'll be Butler. We'll go to third. The battle is on for second. Brett Hamilton, Chase Butler, Cole Hilton. Battling it out for the second spot. Hilton and Butler side by side still as they roll through turn to four. It'll be Butler. 
Hilton with a big run back on the inside. Hilton there on the inside. Oh, trouble! Cole Hilton goes around at the bottom of one and two. Caution flag waves for the third time here this evening. Fifteen of twenty-five complete. Green flag back in the air. We're back underway in the bottom flies of Virginia Motors. We like Scott Heath with a big run as he works their way off into turn number one. Brett Hamilton there on the inside. Scott Heath with a big run off of turn number two. Opens it up by about two car wings. Michael Conley sideways and loses at least two spots to Chase Butler and Cole Hilton as they work their way back to the front. Butler on the inside of Samuel Lamborghini in the 814. And will completely pass going into turn one. <laughs> Here comes Cole Hilton now trying to follow at the tire tracks of Butler as they race through four. Hilton is going to find himself a easy way on past the 814 of Lamborghini as well. Everybody at the moment is single file. As we go to the lead, go back to, we go to the mid pack here with Cole Hilton working his way back to the front. He's got Tim Schulte in the 10S and Chase Butler in the 11 battling in front of him as Chase Butler will get the pass done as they go into turn number three. Michael Pat has got a bit sideways out of four. Looks like he might have had a slight bit of contact, maybe, with the 51 of Cole Boy, but gathered it back up before causing any more serious damage on that race car. As everybody is following your leader, Scott Heath, who has now opened it up by about a half a turn over Hamilton. Cole Hilton now working to the inside of Schulte as they work their way through one and two. Hilton to the inside this time going through turn three and four. Can he get it done on Schulte? No, not this time. Tim Schulte putting up a fight there with Hilton. Coming off of turn number two as they're still side by side down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, back at the front of the field, a battle for fourth between Pullboy and Pappas. As Pullboy is now pulling away by a few car lengths over Pappas down the back stretch and into turn three. Two laps to go in the Budweiser Modifieds here this evening at Virginia Motor Speedway. Scott Heath has been dominant all night long and is going to work his way through turn number four where he will see the white flag and will make one more trip around Virginia Motor Speedway here this evening. Coming out of turn two now down the back stretch for the final time and into turn number three. Coming out of turn four. Scott Heath with the win in the Budweiser Modifieds. As they race behind them for second, it'll be Brett Hamilton in second. <laughs> Joey Pulboy third. Michael Papp is fourth. Jeff Sollinger fifth. Chase Butler is sixth. Tim Jolte is seventh. Cole Hilton in eighth. Michael Conley is ninth. Curtis Mason is 10th, and Samuel Lamborghini rounds out the field in 11th. You think you've been racing here for some time, because uh, I'm going to tell you what, uh, that was a pretty dominating performance. Yeah, uh, I'm still a rookie at this stuff, so uh, I got to thank Longhorn. I took the car back to them this week, and they tuned it in for me, and I mean, it was pretty easy from there. 
Uh, talk about this racetrack. Well, it looked like you could just go about anywhere. Um, I was pretty dominant on the top. Um, that number 11, uh, he went way up there in qualifying and made a lot of speed. And uh, I told my guys, if we get this redraw, I'm going at the top and I ain't coming off of it. And uh, I knew I knew my car was so good that it would take a miracle for them to pass me on the bottom. So if I could just hold that lane, um, they would have to throw a hell of a slider to get by me. Well, I know you got some uh, sponsors you'd like to talk about. Yeah, I got uh, Mahindra Tractors, um, Manita Tractor and Trailer, Bobcat. Um, we got a lot of people, Old Man John, Bobby, my wife and kids back at home. I miss them. I know the feeling, buddy. By, by the way, this is, this is a pretty good uh, run when you're thinking about that 10 grand coming up on June 1st. Oh, uh, the big boys will show up, and uh, if I could even just run with them, I'll feel good about it. Here's your winner in the Budweiser Modified, Scott Heath. All right, folks. We're in for a real race here. We've got a new dirt track here at the pits of Virginia Motor Speedway. Now, who do you think is going to win this race? Is it the go-kart, you think? Go-kart, yeah. The yellow go-kart is a contender here. Uh, any other top favorites? Yes, it's going to be fast. And who do you think might have a shot of winning the uh, late model race tonight? D Davis, let's go. And what number does Davis run? 71. And how do you know Davis? He's my dad's friend. Oh, he's your dad's friend? Yeah. All right, so folks, we're going to keep in the family. This is where it all starts, folks, playing in the dirt with cars at Virginia Motor Speedway. All right, we're going to go five laps, okay? Five laps. All right, folks, we are down here with the great Matthew Ashworth. Now, I remember you, Matthew, when you were racing go-karts at Southside Speedway probably close to 20 years ago. You're a little younger now. You've been a busy boy, I see. Yes, sir. We, You know we can't stay away from a racetrack. It doesn't matter if it's dirt, asphalt. If we can race around it, we're going to be there. Now, I, when I was saying you've been a busy boy, I was talking reference to Mrs. Shy over here. Yep, we got a new juice box racer, Camber Ashworth, one of the development drivers. Uh, the real reason, actually, race. I'm here is to interview her. Sweetie, well, you had your first race last week, right? Two weeks ago? <laughs> yes, how yes, did it go? Did, how was the power? Could you handle it? Yes, sir. And did you win? So we got, we got fourth. Fourth. Yep. Are you going to win this week? You know, the secret is put a big battery in there, folks. Oh, didn't mean to say that. Anyway, Matthew, good luck. You run in the Matthew's in the late motor class, and he's going to be racing tonight. The last race you come... Finished seventh uh, last race. Had a little hiccup, got into a couple fender benders, but we're coming back we're coming back in action tonight. We're, going, we're coming back for the vengeance. All right, folks, tune in. Stay tuned. Watch the number 10 late model race in the late model upcoming race from Virginia Motor Speedway. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> oh, I got a new leader, the number 23. Last lap, last lap. Here we go, last lap. 10 is in the lead, seven is second. This little cat right here, Vegas third. There we go, one, two. And three, yay, four, yay, look at all these. Whoa, oh, here we go. Yeah, give them all a big hand, guys. Come on, let them hear it. They had a lot, a lot of fun. All right, hold on. All right, let's. Hey, great job! Look at that! Oh! Uh, number 10, where's number 10? Where's number 10? Where, hey, Clark, we're going to take the top four because there's only five carts in the zone. 
So the double zero gets to go to the next one. Where, where's my 10? There's my 10. All right, five laps. Ladies and gentlemen, ready, set, go. And we are there. All winners, give them a big hand. Come on. Give them all a bigger hand. They're all winners. Sport Stitch, your number one custom apparel store. Hats with four color stitching made with the latest equipment. Any kind of shirt, coolie cups, anything you can imagine, we can do. Best prices, best service, and highest quality. Call today and order something unique and special. Have some fun with it. Call 804. 387 5127 or find us on Facebook. Just search Sports Stitch and ask for Chuck. Hi, folks, we are here with Brett Atkins and Blake Atkins, and as you can see, there's a slight age difference. Why is that, Brett? Well, that's my son. My goodness, well, I'm glad you got the looks in the family. That's wonderful. And they say intelligence sometimes skips a generation, too. So we've got a lot of hope for this young man here, the future of the Atkins family. Now, you're both out here running. This is pretty wild. This is your car over here, the 16, folks. And if you've been watching the show, you'll know the number 16 is a top-running car in the late model division, correct? It's yeah, sportsman class. Yeah, we, sportsman, I'm sorry, sportsman class. Yeah, we, we try to run, uh, we try to be competitive as we can, that's for sure. Well, I've enjoyed watching you, and now we've got the young blood here. Now, how are you feeling about racing? What was the was it like the first time you raced at Virginia Motor Speedway? Uh, the first race, I was a little nervous, but kept getting used to it, getting more, getting more experience. It's getting better. You are getting better. We've been noticing over the weeks. This man here, watch out, future NASCAR driver right here, and all because of Daddy. Daddy, this is not a cheap sport. Uh, did you ever think this son of yours was going to cost quite this much money? <laughs> Uh, I tell you, you know, I, my dad raced, you know, for 50 plus years now, and I kind of fell in it, into it as, at a young age, not as young as him, but uh, I started when I was 13. Um, he started racing go karts when he was seven, so yeah. I kind of, I kind of knew when we got started with the go karts that uh, this was probably going to be very expensive one day for sure. <laughs> Well, these folks work really hard to make this happen, and so does the track, and so does everybody. So please stay tuned. We're going to watch the number 16 running with the number one of his son. Stay tuned for the sportsman race coming up. Flag in the air, it's time to hit and get it for the Truck and Thunder Sportsman here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Everybody double file through one and two. Hunter right out to the early lead. Here comes Brett Atkins, are not wasting any time, going to second as he passes Adam Breeden in the 01. Matt Means is back there in the fourth spot, trying to follow the same path as Brett Atkins as well as they work their way underneath the start finish line. End of one. Rolling through turn number two, Adam Breeden up the racetrack. Matt Means there on the inside, and caution lights are on the speedway. All right, folks, we're down here with Lucas Sandy. Lucas Sandy, Mr. Lucas, I should call you. Did you think that you'd be racing at Virginia Motor Speedway? Not a shot. Um, it came along just out, out of the blue. Um, and here we are. Well, folks, this guy's affiliated with Matt Ashworth, the number 10. Matt's dad's just driving past. We've got three divisions represented here by Matt, by Ashworth Electrical. We've got the lay model of Matt. we got the sportsman of Lucas. And then we've got Ray in the number 10 modified, <laughs> modified stock. Ah. And let me ask you something. Why are you doing this? Um, spent all our time up here at the track working on the cars and figured I'd get into it myself and see what it's all about. All right, folks, well, we've had some requests. You know this show's being watched all over the world, right? Yes, sir. So we've had a guy from Argentina called in, and he said that we don't speak Spanish, right? Well, we're not going to speak Spanish, so I'm sorry. You don't understand a word we're saying. That's okay. 
we've got another guy. Come with me here for a sec. Now, what do you what do you call this? What what's that called right there? What do you call that? Sheet metal. No. What would you call this? Quarter panel, maybe fender, right? Yeah, fender. Fender. So we've got another complaint from England. They're saying that this is called a wing. Well, people, it's not called a wing. In America, we eat wings. That's called a fender. And I've got one more complaint from Australia, from Sheila in Australia, that says this is called a mudguard. Well, people, you're all upside down. It's not a mudguard. Those are for bicycles. Anyway, get ready to watch some serious racing. We're going to be watching you, Sandy. Good luck, buddy. Appreciate it. It's Hunter Wright, Brett Atkins, Adam Breeden, Matt Meads, and Tyler Ship, your top five. Green flag back on the air. We're back to racing in the Truck and Thunder Sportsman of Virginia Motor Speedway. Everybody flying through one and two. Brett Atkins is there in second with a big run off of two down the back stretch. Had a big run on Hunter Wright going into turn number three, but had to lift off just a little bit. It's going to be Hunter Wright leading the field out of turn four. With Brett Atkins right there on his tire tracks as they roll through one and two. Back behind him is the 01 of Adam Breeden and Matt Beans battling it out for the third spot. As that is the battle on the racetrack at the moment there for the lead as they come across our start-finish line. It's Hunter Wright out front. Brett Atkins is there. Atkins is on the inside. He sticks the nose underneath the left rear of Hunter Wright down the back straightaway into turn at number three. There's a little bit of room there left by Hunter Wright on, for Brett Atkins to stay there on the bottom as they work their way underneath our start-finish line. It'll be Brett Atkins on the inside. Now Hunter Wright pulls away by a couple of car lengths as they work their way off into two, but Brett Atkins stays right there with him as they go off into three. Hey, absolutely fantastic racing going on right here for the lead. Atkins on the bottom, right on the outside. As they work their way through one and two, they're side by side as they work their way off of two. They remain wheel to wheel down the back stretch into three with Atkins on the bottom. Who will have the preferred line as they come out of four? It appears it'll be Hunter Wright will continue to be shown the leader and currently has the momentum line at the moment here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Brett Atkins will now move to the top side and try to see if he can find himself some speed to see if he can finally crack by the double zero of Hunter Wright. As Atkins working to the outside, Hunter Wright tries to shut him off as they work their way through two. Nearly come down into three with Hunter Wright showing the lead. Brett Atkins in second behind them. The battle is for third. Matt Meads is under fire from Adam Breeden and Tyler Ship for the third spot. As Meads comes rolling through the bottom of one and, and two. Back to the lead is where the race is for the position for the lead right now with Hunter Wright showing the way. Brett Atkins isn't giving up that easily as they work their way off into one. Atkins on the outside, right on the bottom. Hunter Wright slides across the front nose of Atkins off of turn two. So single file down the back straightaway into three and caution flag waves. On the speedway, we got one around at the bottom of turn number four. The number one of Blake Atkins. And we're back to racing in the Truck and Thunder Sportsman. Hunter Wright with a big run. Uh, out of the gate as we go off into turn at number one. Brett Atkins working the outside. Matt Means is there in third. A battle, three car fight for the lead. Hunter Wright, and now here comes Brett Atkins to the inside, looking at the bottom of right as they work their way off into three. Atkins is there, tried to look to the bottom, and now Matt Means is going to see if he can work his way on through. The 16 of Atkins as they go off into turn at number one. Matt Means working that inside. Atkins on the outside, coming off of turn two. 
Brett Atkins trying to get a run on him coming off the four. He is staying right there. And the tire tracks of Hunter Wright as they work their way off into one. Hunter Wright working the middle line. Atkins going up a little bit to the cushion. Coming off of two. Atkins with a big run. Coming down the back stretch. Hunter Wright slams the door on Atkins as they work their way off into three and four. It'll be Atkins looking back to the inside of Wright. Atkins is right there, breathing down the back of Hunter Wright. As they go off into turn one and two, Atkins on the outside. He's got the momentum now on the top side. It's going to be Atkins, your new leader. As they work their way down the back straightaway into three. It's currently working 16 of 25 complete. As the 16 of Atkins comes across our start and finish line. Continuing to open the gap between him and Hunter Wright, and the battle is behind them for the third spot with Matt Meads and Tyler Ship coming off of turn at number two, down the back straightaway into three. Matt Meads keeping Tyler Ship at bay, coming across our start finish line. Going off into one. Atkins continuing to open up the difference over Hunter right back in the second spot. As they go off into one with Atkins showing the way, right is second. Matt Beads is third. Tyler Ship is fourth. As we now work lap 20 of 25, Atkins continuing to show that he has the more do the dominant car here this evening. As he works his way out of turn four. Matt Means currently under fire from Tyler Ship. Coming across the start finish line, that is for the third spot. Between the 23 of Meads and the 25 of Ship. Coming off of turn at two down the back straightaway and into, into turn three. Meads keeping Tyler Ship at bay opens it up now by about four car lengths, separating him in the fourth spot of Ship. Coming out of turn four is your leader. Brett Atkins will see two more laps to go for the 16 of Atkins. Great battle there with Matt Meads and Tyler Ship for the third spot. Ship is on the inside with a run coming off of two. Matt Meads can take keeps the momentum going into turn three and keeps his distance by about two car lengths coming out of four but Tyler Ship is staying right there the tire tracks and means as they work their way off into three into turn number one here comes your leader Brett Atkins working his way out of turn at number four to find the checkered flag Brett Atkins gets the win Hunter Wright comes home in second Back-to-back -back wins for the 16 of Brett Atkins with a fantastic start to the year. That is now Brett Atkins win at number two of the season for 2024 in his second back-to-back -back victories here at Virginia Motor Speedway. That was, a, that was another great run in this number 16. Hunter Wright's a tough competitor, and uh, tonight, you decided, okay, I'm just going to go to the outside over in turn one and two, and that's where you made the pass. Uh, this track is just phenomenal here tonight. Yeah, the, the track is super fast, and I, you know, I, I prompt myself on trying to be a clean driver, and you know, I want people to race me the same way I race them. Give them for racing me clean, and uh, I want to thank all my family and friends, all you, all you fans that came out and support the track. This is great. Thank y'all. But uh, Mary Kay, Debbie Atkins with Mary Kay uh, Atkins Farm Equipment. Blake Stevens with Allstate, you're in good hands. Uh, PPS, 
Pet Power Solutions, uh, the closing shop in Gloucester and in West Point now. Uh, Deucewick and Sobrick, uh, attorneys at law. Uh, like I say again, my, my family, uh, my dad, my son here. Uh, looks like he had another rough night, but uh, you know we all, you know you, you get into racing, you just don't fall in your lap. You gotta you gotta cut your teeth and earn it. So uh, he's he's doing that now. By the way, say hi to Granny. Hey Granny. <laughs> I my grandma's been a big supporter for me uh, my whole racing career. I tell you, she, uh, I know it's killing her not to be here tonight, but she's going to get better. She'll make it out to the next one, hopefully. Here's your winner, Brad Kidd, Chuck and Thunder Sportsman. And that is your official starting lineup for tonight's Victory Lap Pro Late Model 30 Lap Feature. Folk, we are down here with William Baker, driver of the number 45 late model car, man. That's quite a machine you got there, William. That is a hot rod, man. Tell me a little bit about some of the people that helped you get here. Well, you know, mostly my dad. He about pays for everything. I mean, sponsors put, chip in a little bit, but it's mostly just him, you know. And what's his company? Uh, JDB Construction Co. Okay, folks, so if you need some construction done, where do you go? Jason D, JasonDBConstruction.com. There you go. Now, how did you do last race? Uh, terrible. I uh, didn't finish. What happened? Well, I got loose and then I got turned around and bent my wheel and ah. all kinds of other crap. Now, you got it back ready to go tonight. Oh, yeah. My freaking, my wrap was falling off and everything. Oh, no. You got it all fixed. Yeah, we got it back. All right, yeah. folks. Watch out for the number 45 of Mr. Baker. There you see our field of Victory Lap Pro Late models coming out onto the track, being led by that absolutely beautiful Northern Neck Chevrolet pace truck, showing our field around Virginia Motor Speedway on a beautiful evening, which you can buy, by the way. So if you want, you can purchase the pace truck here at Virginia Motor Speedway if you wish. You can purchase and own that truck. Yep, I'm good. Give a big, big, big thank you to Northern Neck Chevrolet for providing us our safety truck here tonight. A beautiful red Northern Neck Chevrolet pay truck will make the hard left hand turn to our infield. Green flag in the air, it's time to hit it and get it for the victory lap pro late models at Virginia Motor Speedway. Lipscomb not wasting any time, charging to the front. On the outside of Pilgerton as they work their way through three and four. Coming out of four, it's gonna be Davis Lipscomb. From second to first leads, lap one here tonight at Virginia Motor Speedway. Pilgerton right there in second. Oh, we got one around, the round goes to 37. Bud Stinson. Moto Richmond are power sports enthusiasts. Experience fun and adventure. Triumph with the all new 400s. KTM the dirt bike legend. Italian elegance with Moto Guzzi, Piaggio, Vespa or genuine scooters. Our friendly staff in sales, financing, service and parts are the best in the business. Call 804-230-1000 to find out about our deal of the week. Up to 1250 bucks Triumph cash on select 2023 models. Wow. Get on two wheels today at Motor Richmond. 804-230-1000 or visit MotorRichmond.com. And they're way into pro late models as they all storm off into turn number one. Pilkerton under fire very quickly from the 29H of Allman. Here comes Nick Davis now looking at the bottom of Allman as they work their way off into turn number three. The 92 and Nick Davis is there working to the inside of the Corey Allman. That is a battle for the third spot. Davis is on the bottom, Allman up top as they work their way through one and two. Allman with the run off of two. 
as Davis will slip back into the fourth spot as they work their way off of the turn three. Meanwhile, behind Davis, the battle is for fifth. Billy Hubbard in that number 38B. And the 08 of Joey Love are battling it outside by side for the fifth spot. Working their way off of two, it's going to be Joey Love. We'll make it past Hubbard as they work their way off of three. Everybody now single file from first all the way through the field. As everybody's chasing that number 71 Ellipscomb, Bud Stinson working to the inside of Matt Ashworth as they work their way off of two. Covered there in the blue, number 38B coming out of four on your screen. Coming across our start finish line, the Kurt seven of Curtis Hughes. Looking to the inside of the 45 of William Baker as they work their way off into one. And we got caution flag on the speedway. Massive trouble here on our front stretch. Two cars around with significant, with quite a bit of damage to both race cars. With Generac, when the utility power goes down, your home powers up. A Generac generator sits outside your home like a central air unit and runs on your existing natural gas or propane supply. It automatically kicks on within seconds of sensing a power outage, runs as long as needed, and automatically turns off when the power from the utility is restored. Minson Power is here to help you in the selection of your new home standby generator, along with all the installation and maintenance of the system. Proud sponsors of Hunter Wright in the 00 Sportsman car. Folks, we're down here with the late model driver, the great Davis Lipscomb with the number 71 car. Tell us about the late model season so far here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Oh, uh, yeah, we had a pretty good start to the season, I believe. We uh, ended up qualifying eighth last race, but it was only like four 100s between fourth and eighth place. Wow. And uh, so it put us eighth and buried us pretty good in the start. But uh, as the race went on, we got a couple of cautions late in the race that helped me out, and I got a picked off a few positions and we ended up second so it was a pretty good opening night for us so who, who have you got your eyes on tonight uh Corey's gonna be fast Hubbard's gonna be fast I know right out the gate um we still got a couple uh love and all them they're all gonna be they're gonna be quick well folks we actually uh this show's been broadcast all over the world and we had somebody complain they said that this back here was called a boot what's it called Davis a boot yeah what Cool. That trunk? Uh, sure. <laughs> it's a trunk, people, not a boot. <laughs> yeah. Yowza. Exactly. But down the back straight away with Lipscomb showing us the way right now as we come into three. Green flag in the air. We're back underway in the Pro Lake models here for Team Motor Speedway. Corey Alvin not wasting any time looking to the inside of Pilkerton. Pilkerton with a huge run out of turn two, right up to the back nerf bar of Lipscomb as they work their way off into turn three. It's Lipscomb out front, Pilkerton in second. Baker looking to the inside of Hubbard. It's Love on the inside of Hubbard with Bud Stinson squished in the middle as they work their way off into one. It is Hubbard, Davis, and Love. And Stinson battling for the fourth spot. Oh, but Stinson up the racetrack out of turn four. Keeps it off of the fence as he gathers it back up, up against the top cushion as they work their way off into, three, off into turn two. Billy Hubbard currently under fire from the 08 of Joey Love as they go off into turn one. Hubbard on the outside, Love on the bottom. They're going to be side by side through turn number two with Hubbard with the run and the momentum as they go off into three. But Love is going to drive it back on the inside as side by side out of four, but it'll be Hubbard will get the pass done as they come out of four. Your leader, Davis Lipscomb, and that black and white 71 coming across the start finish line is your leader. As he rolls through one and two, 
with Pilgerton second, Allman third, Davis fourth, Hubbard fifth. That is your top five. Curtis Hughes working to the inside of the 45 of William Baker. Those two are going to be wheel to wheel as they go up into three. Baker is there on the outside. Hughes is on the, Hughes is on the inside. They're going to be wheel to wheel off of four. It'll be Curtis Hughes. We'll complete the pass as they work their way off into one. And the old trouble! Around goes William Baker. And the four of Doug Penny. Bring out your who's your driver caution period flag of the evening. Currently working at 11 of 30. Complete. All right, folks, we're here with Hunter Wright. Now, Hunter Wright, a lot of stepdads beat their stepchildren, don't they? Yeah, but my stepdad, he got he got me made here. I tell you, if it, if it weren't for him, I'd, I wouldn't have his beast right here, I can tell you. Man, I wish I'd had a stepdad like that. <laughs> my stepdad didn't used to beat me, but he wasn't particularly nice to me. Now, we got Minson Power behind this car. Now, what do you know about Minson? Uh, Minson Power is your uh, Generac and home standby generator. If you need any Generac or home standby generator, installation, maintenance, repair, just give them a call. At, or you can look them up on Google at mensonpower.com. That's awesome. Now tell me, what was it like driving this car? I, I, I'm so jealous. I would love to drive a car. What does it feel like when you come, you know, when they drop that line, you're coming out of four, and all the cars are all crunched up? How does it feel? I mean, there's no feeling like it. it I mean, it just, your heart starts beating fast. Your mind just goes into race mode. You just, all you think about is the person in front of you, trying to get past them, winning the race, being smart being fast. I mean, there's, there's no adrenaline rush like it. I think this man just said it all. Green flag in the air, we're back underway in a victory lap for late bottles. Corey Allman gonna look to the inside, trying to make quick work of Pilgrim Pilgrim with a run out of turn two. Hubbard under fire from Love down off of two as they go down the back straightaway into three. Coming out of four, it's Davis Lipscomb showing the way. Pilkerton under fire from Corey Allman. That is for the second spot. Allman to the inside as they go off into one and two. Nick Davis is there. Davis to the inside now with the run out of turn two. Davis on the left rear of Allman as they go sliding into three. Allman now working the outside. We'll get the run off of four. Hubbard has fallen into the clutches of Bud Stinson as they go off into one. That is Joey Love in the 08, but Billy Hubbard in the 38B and Bud Stinson in that 37 machine are battling it. That is for the fifth spot. As the field races through turn four. Curtis Hughes completing the pass there on the four of Doug Penny. Billy Hubbard under attack from Bud Stinson now as they come out of two down to backstretch. Bud Stinson is there on working to the inside of Hubbard. Working out of four, it's Billy Hubbard maintains the position. Davis Lipscomb continuing to open the distance between him and Pilkerton. Rolling out of four. The battle is behind him, though, for second with Pilkerton and Allman as they work their way through one. Pilkerton working in the middle out of two, off of two. Allman is there. Just three car lengths separate Pilkerton and Allman with Davis right there, not far behind as he watches it, as he wants to join in on the battle as well. I'm out of four. Across our start finish line. Corey Allman under fire now from Nick Davis going into one and two. Nick Davis is there. Davis is knocking on the door for Allman to open up and come on through. Here comes Davis right to the bottom of third turn four. And it's going to be Allman will keep the momentum as Davis had to slide up the racetrack to avoid from hitting the 29H of Allman. And we go back to our leader, Lipscomb. Now it's Nick Davis. Can he get by the 29H of Allman again this time as they go over to one? 
Davis working the inside, Allman on the outside. Coming out of turn two, going down the back straightaway. There's your leader, Davis Lipscomb. Jeremy Pilkerton in the white and black number eight, Allman in the white 29. Here there is Bud Stinson and Billy Hubbard side by side coming off into one as they battle it out for position, going off through one and two. Billy Hubbard with the run coming out of turn at number two. Down the back straightaway, Bud Stinson back to the inside. Stinson is there on the bottom, Hubbard on the outside. They're dead even as they come across the start finish line, but it'll be Billy Hubbard will complete the pass going off into one. But the battle is now for fourth. Lipscomb, or excuse me, with Almond and Davis battling it out for fourth. But for the third spot, it is Almond and Davis for third. As your leader, the 71 of Lipscomb comes across our start finish line, leading the way, getting ready to come up on some lap traffic, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. Meanwhile, the battle is behind Pilkerton between Almond and Davis as they work their way off into three. Lipscomb across our start finish line, going off into turn number one. Working that solid, working the middle lane as they come off of two. There comes Nick Davis. Can he try to reel in Corey Almond? Does Nick Davis have enough time to get by Almond as they come into come out of four? And there is that lap traffic, but not an, it not going to be an issue for our leader of Lipscomb. The battle, Davis Almond side by side coming through turn two. It's going to be Allman advances by about a car length over Nick Davis coming out of four. Nick Davis is going to try to run on him here through turn at number two. Davis is right there in the tire tracks of Allman, not letting him out of his sight as they come into turn three and four. Davis right on the bottom. Allman is there as they come across some lap traffic as well. With Allman, with a free car length separation between him and Davis. As we go back to the lead of Lipscomb coming across our start finish line. 28 of 30 complete, two laps to go for Lipscomb. Coming at turn number two. He will see the white flag for the number 71 of Wiscombe, which means he will make one more trip around here at Virginia Motor Speedway on a beautiful evening. With Lipscomb coming out of turn two down the back stretch, the final time into three. Coming out of turn number four, the number 71 of Davis Lipscomb with the checkered flag gets your win. Tonight here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Lipscomb with the win as he will find his way to the Virginia is for Lovers Victory Lane. Nothing better than that right there, buddy. I told him I was going to see him here in a little while. It looked like it worked out. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, um, a lot of work's gone into to getting here in this victory lane. Uh, you put a lot of hours into this car. Yeah, this thing is just, like I said, this thing is a Frankenstein, and it's been awesome. We, we really figured this thing out last year. And, if we can just get luck and, you know, catch that invert start on the front row and get that open air, man, it's, it's hard to beat it. It's awesome. Got to also feel good pulling the win right before a big $5,000 win race. Yeah, I hope I can roll in with some confidence. Normally I don't have any confidence when those big shows come, and it shows in my performance, but I think I'm going to roll in with some confidence this year. 
I know you got some folks you want to thank. Oh, yeah, I got to thank uh, all of the people that helped me. Johnny, who's in the shop every night with me doing everything. Evan, that comes every week and, and busts his butt on his car. My stepdad, Ricky. All these people that show up and do everything for me. I mean, everything from scraping mud to making sure the cooler's packed. I mean, it takes all of us to do it, and I appreciate everyone. Congratulations, my friend. Yeah, thank you. Here's your winner, Davis Lipscomb! Hi folks, we're down here with the 01 car of 207-541th MP, that's a really weird name, is that MP, that's your last name, Detachment? No, that's not mine, I'm Trent Clemens, we've got this flag on the top of the car for a friend of ours who's a military and canine police trainer, so he trains the canines, um, so that, that's what this flag represents. Wow, so you've got all kinds of people involved with this car. Tell us about some of the other people involved in getting you out here, Trent. Well, we've really picked up a lot of help over the years, and uh, a lot of these sponsors you can see right here, I mean, these guys have been with us all the way back to 2016. Wow. Um, we've got the insurance doctor, uh, Mike Walsh Masonry, Laurel Automotive, and a lot of other people that have come on board and really helped us pick our program up. Now, folks, I don't know if you saw the last race. I, I hope you did, but the last race, this car was looking so nice at the beginning of the race. I remember it looked fantastic. I saw a thing on Facebook. You just had the new decals. Now, I don't remember it looking quite this nice after the race, Trent. Tell me what happened, man. Well, we had a visit with the guardrail in turn one and two. Um, we, we set the pole in qualifying, and we really felt like we had a good shot at the feature, but just got a little bit too eager, and... Uh, we had a caution come out on lap 13, and I knew the leader was strong. The 23 car was running away from us, and if I was going to get him, I had a chance on the restart, and I tried to get him down low in one and two and kind of slipped up in the mud and, like I say, had a visit with the guardrail. So we had to put the bumper cover back together and get it back out here today. Folks, you have no idea how much work it is to get these cars back on the track. So hats off to you, Trent, and to your whole crew right here. You're all amazing to, to put this show on. And long may it last, people, at Virginia Motor Speedway. flag in the air it's time to hit it and hit it and the joe hudson's collision center limited stock cars at virginia motor speedway everybody is bunched up in the top five or six the front four are there with the 53 of morgan pulling in second Brian Hubbard is there. Brian Hubbard will make the move and go underneath the nine of Pullen as Hubbard goes to second. Brian Hubbard goes into the second spot. Brandon Bowler working on the out on the outside. He's got Corey Almond. He's got Corey Bradley on his inside. Bradley is there on the bottom of Bowler as they work their way through turn number four. Corey Bradley will make the pass and will move into fourth. He's got Trent Clemens behind him in the 01. As the battle is right now for second, Gregory Morgan, Justin Pullen side by side. Corey Bradley is back there, and so is Clemens. Side by side for second, and they are side by side, battling for, for almost four wide for a brief second. They're battling for second, working their way off into one. Corey Bradley going to the outside. He is not wasting any time. He will get the pass. On the outside, coming off of, uh, into three. And Corey Bradley advances to second. Caution flag wave. We got a piece of sheet, a piece of debris on uh, the racing surface to bring out our first Hoosier driver. Caution period flag of the night in our Joe Hudson Collision Center limited stock car feature. All right, folks, we are here with the grandfather himself, Mr. Ray Ashworth. Ray, still racing, baby. Proud of you. Back in it for 24, 2024 in a modified, uh, what do you tell me? I think it's called limited stock. 
limited stock people down here at Virginia it's Motor so Speedway. Different things, but it's basically a, a less expensive class for an older fella, and I love it. It's my second time in it. We finished tenth last week. We're gonna try to do better this week. Now, folks at home, you've got no idea how much work it is to put just a simple car like this together. Give us an idea how many hours you got in this, Ray. Hundreds, probably, and all. We have three of them, so we work all the time on them. Full-time job, people, to bring you the best racing action from the half-mile track at Virginia Motor, Motor Speedway, Speedway, baby, yo! Green flag in the air, we're back underway here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Brian Hubbard not wasting any time on the advancing with that lead as he jumps out now to about a three car length advantage. Corey Bradley isn't wasting any time getting to the front. He's going to the bottom of Justin Cohen and Trey Clemson will follow suit now as they work their way through turn four. It's going to be Corey Bradley on the inside. He gets through pulling. Now he's going to go past the 53 of Gregory Morgan going off into turn number one. It's Morgan and Bradley battling for the second spot. Trick Clemens is there and fourth. Trent Clemens trying to go to the inside of Bradley, but Bradley has the line as he works underneath the 53 of Morgan as they go down the front stretch and into turn one. Corey Bradley makes it through. Trey Clemens makes it through as well. Clemens is on the inside, coming down the back straightaway, going off into turn three. Bradley and Clemens battling it out for the second spot. Oh, and around goes the 53 of Gregory Morgan goes around in turns three and four. All right, folks, we are here with Brett Atkins and Blake Atkins, and as you can see, there's a slight age difference. Why is that, Brett? Well, that's my son. My goodness, well, I'm glad you got the looks in the family. That's wonderful. And they say intelligence sometimes skips a generation, too. So we've got a lot of hope for this young man here, the future of the Atkins family. Now, you're both out here running. This is pretty wild. This is your car over here, the 16, folks. And if you've been watching the show, you'll know the number 16 is a top-running car in the late model division, correct? It's sportsman class. Yeah, we sportsman. I'm sorry, sportsman class. Yeah, we, we try to run. Uh, we, we try to be competitive as we can. That's for sure. Well, I've enjoyed watching you. And now we've got the young blood here. Now, how are you feeling about racing? What was the was it like the first time you raced at Virginia Motor Speedway? Uh, the first race I was a little nervous, but kept getting used to it. Getting more, getting more experience. It's getting better. You are getting better. We've been noticing over the weeks. This man here, watch out. Future NASCAR driver right here, and all because of Daddy. Daddy, this is not a cheap sport. Uh, did you ever think this son of yours was going to cost quite this much money? <laughs> uh, I tell you, you know, I, my dad raced, you know, for 50 plus years now, and I kind of fell in it into it as, at a young age. Not as young as him, but uh, I started when I was 13. Um, he started racing go karts when he was seven. So. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of knew when we got started with the go karts that uh, this was probably going to be very expensive one day for sure. <laughs> well, these folks work really hard to make this happen, and so does the track, and so does everybody. So please stay tuned. We're going to watch the number 16 running with the number one of his son. Stay tuned for the sportsman race coming up. Green flag in the air, we're back in the way here. Brian Hubbard will lead us into turn number one. With Corey Bradley in tow and Trent Clemens right there in third. That is your top three. Christian Shear in that block of sevens is back of there in the fourth spot. Here comes Trent Clemens. Looking to have a run on the 41 of Bradley now as they go off into turn number one. Corey Bradley up top, Trick Clemens way down on the bottom. But Corey Bradley with the big run down the back stretch into turn three. 
Bradley with the momentum coming out of turn four. He is there with Brian Hubbard. But Trick Clemens isn't that far behind, sitting back there in third, watching Ullman, watching Corey Bradley and Brian Hubbard battle for the lead. Clemens is now behind the 41 of Bradley going off into turn at number one. Corey Bradley in the 41 has Trick Clemens behind him in the 01. Coming out of turn two. Clemens is there. Bradley on the outside. Clemens way on the bottom of the racetrack as Bradley keeping the run going on the outside is where he has the momentum. Trick Clemens trying to find the momentum down on the bottom, but Corey Bradley has it coming out of turn number two as they work their way down the back stretch. Caution flag is out for the number nine of Justin pulling around to the bottom of turn four to bring out the yellow. We are here with Corey and Brian Bradley now. Brian, I remember you from Southside Speedway, man. You used to get that car right around the track. You racing anymore? No, I gave it up in 16 after right at 30 years. I started 86 at Southside. So it's quite a few years. And that was the number 40 car, right? Number 40. Number 40, and now we got your son, Corey, in the 41. Corey, how would you feel racing tonight, buddy? Uh, we'll see. Uh, had a lot of work to do. Got the car tore pretty good last race, but uh, hopefully we maintain and got everything better than it was. So should and be you good. you want to give a shout-out to any sponsors? Yep, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Joey Dean. He's helped out a whole lot. T.W. Clemens, Clark's Auto Care, Lil Bills, Hutchins Mechanical, and my cousin for doing the gra uh, graphics on the side. Looks great. And I think that's it. And uh, Willie's Wellness. Other than that, everybody help me out. You got everybody? Come on, add one more. Come on. Uh, no more than what? Not, no, no more than what comes out of our pockets. Oh yeah. <laughs> and this car is 41. Mine was 40. This one's 41. My brother used to race with me at Southside. His was number 42. Yep. So keeps them all in line. Oh yeah. That's right. It's, it's easier to remember. Oh, yeah. Well, folks, stay tuned to watch the number 41 of Corey Bradley zooming around the track. Good luck, Corey, man. All right. Yes, we're going to see what happens, folks. Stay tuned. Brian Hubbard is back into the gas as they come across their start and finish line into turn one. That blue 41 of Corey Bradley is right there in the second spot with a run coming down the back straightaway on the 23B of Brian Hubbard. Coming down into turn to three and four. Brian Hubbard has the momentum. There's the 07 of Christian Shear working to the bottom of Trent Clemens as they go off into one. That's the 41 of Corey Bradley in second. Brian Hubbard in the 23 is your leader. And caution flag waves. Great flag in the air, we're back under the way. Brian Hubbard leading us into turn number one with Corey Bradley second, Trent Clemens third, Shear is fourth, Brian fifth. Corey Bradley is right there on the back bumper of Hubbard down the back straightaway into turn three. Corey Bradley is there sandwiched in the right in between Hubbard and Clemens coming out of turn four as he maintains second with Clemens behind him in the orange 01 machine. As everybody is following Hubbard through the middle of one and two, Trent Clemens tried to look for a brief second to the inside. Here they go into turn three and four. Trent Clemens looking to the inside of Corey Bradley again this time across our start finish line for the second spot. Going off into one, Trent Clemens is all there on the inside. Corey Bradley maintaining the spot out of turn two with the run on the outside. 
down the back straight away. As Corey Bradley continues to have the momentum on his side. Coming out of four. As he's trying to separate himself between the 01 of Clemens and the 07 of Shear. Coming through turn two. As now Trent Clemens will move to the outside to try and see if he can get some momentum working for himself. Just as the 41 of Bradley has as they battle for second. Bradley continuing to keep the run going for himself right around that top side. Seems to be working very, very well for the 41 of Bradley. And we got a big jumble of cars here in the back, a big hornet's nest back here in the tail end of the field. With Morgan pulling John Hankins Jr. Hilton Pickerel in the 99 are all back there in one giant mess. Oh, and around goes the 25 of John Hankins Jr. around in the bottom of turn one and two. Coming to the green flag this time. Brian Hubbard is not wasting any time getting to the gas as they would come across the start finish line. As he jumps to about a two car lead, but Corey Bradley isn't going to let him get away that easily. Corey Bradley is right there on the outside coming off of two, trying to get that momentum with the big run, trying to use the middle lane to his advantage. That seems to be where he has gotten a lot of his big runs here this evening. Can he keep it going? As Bradley is there on the outside going off of two with Trick Clemens back behind him trying to follow Bradley's path but going through turn three and four. Coming out of turn four, Brian Hubbard continuing to show us the, the way around Virginia Motor Speedway. And Corey Bradley's not going to give up that easily. He is going to sit there and continue to knock on the door of Hubbard now as they come through turn number four. It's Bradley right there with Hubbard, your leader, coming through turn number one. And Corey Bradley trying to get that outside momentum. Coming off of two, he seems to get a good run off of two. He's trying to get the same momentum here out of turn four, but it appears that Brian Hubbard continues to pull away by just a little bit as we got the white flag in the air. One more lap to go for Brian Hubbard. Can he hold off Corey Bradley? Coming out of turn into three and four. He will find the checkered flag and the yellow. Brian Hubbard wins here at Virginia Motor Speedway. Corey Bradley second, Trent Clemens is third, Christian Shear fourth, and Christopher Bryan your top five. Jacob Bowie comes home sixth, Jason Spielman seventh, Gregory Morgan is eighth, Wilton Pickerel ninth, Brandon Bowler tenth, John Hankin Jr. eleventh, Justin Poen twelfth, Craig Newcomb thirteenth, and Ray Ashworth round out the field in fourteenth. There he is, there's your winner, Brian Hubbard. Brian Hubbard! Come around here, son. I tell you what, first, during qualifying, I don't know if I'd have put money on this number 23. <laughs> she looked like she was pushing pretty dumb, hard. I think the driver was making it push more than anything. Uh, but when this thing slicked over here tonight, uh, this thing came to life. I, but I will say this. The top four cars were all pretty much nose to tail, and Cor, uh, Corey Bradley was right there just waiting for a mistake. Yeah. I could, uh, my spotter down in one. I didn't see the gap that I saw last week, so I knew I had to tighten up on the wheel a little bit. And I, I figured Corey and uh, the old one car, they're going to be good competition this year. It's not going to be a cakewalk. But uh, I need to thank my sponsor, Shelton Motorsports. Uh, 
Matthew's Pharmacy, they're here tonight. Uh, we're getting green lawn care, Bella's Pizza, uh, Flint Derby Construction, uh, Davis Lipscomb and Johnny Brooks. I forgot to thank Johnny last week. They helped us help this car up. They've, they've been nothing but an open book to me with everything. Uh, couldn't do it without their help. Uh, Comfort Designs, Heating and Cooling, and JWM Pools. Y'all support your local businesses. Uh, they help us out a lot. Well, thank you for be, uh, bringing the car to uh, Bella's. That, that food helped you get to Victor Lane tonight, didn't it? I think I need to stop eating so much, and I might get a little fast. <laughs> oh, there's your winner, Brian Hubbard. Moto Richmond are power sports enthusiasts. Experience fun and adventure. Triumph with the all new 400s. KTM, the dirt bike legend. Italian elegance with Moto Guzzi, Piaggio, Vespa, or genuine scooters. Our friendly staff in sales, financing, service, and parts are the best in the business. Call 804 230 1000 to find out about our deal of the week. Up to 1250 bucks Triumph cash on select 2023 models. Sport Stitch, your number one custom apparel store. Hats with four color stitching, made with the latest equipment. Any kind of shirt, coolie cups, anything you could imagine, we can do. Best prices, best service, and highest quality. Call today and order something unique and special. Have some fun with it. Call 804-387-5127 or find us on Facebook. Just search Sport Stitch and ask for Chuck. <laughs> 